Konnichiwa. What's up, everybody? All right. So this is, yeah, Vietnamese are the most friendly people in the world. Vietnam's so friendly. That's the topic of this video. Uh, kind of like, you know, you're on the cusp. Oh, I want to go to Thailand, or I want to go to Vietnam, or, or do I want to go to Seoul, or, or Tokyo, or... I'm thinking of moving to Southeast Asia, but let me tell you, one of the reasons why you should highly consider Vietnam is the people are just amazingly friendly. Like, to the point of where it's kind of... You, you're almost in shock of, of how friendly they are. Ooh, dog camera. Ooh, just like Nick, Win Win's dog. Oh, everybody's filming the dogs. <laughs> he just started strutting. <laughs> now the owner called him back. Her back. My bad. But yeah, they're they're super friendly guys. They're, they're it's it's you know I can be lost somewhere when I'm looking for something like a, a pagoda or an orphanage and. <laughs> They'll help me get there. Like, <laughs> I, I got lost a few days ago looking for an orphanage, which I went and like looked at. It'll never get put up because it, it didn't meet the requirements of what we needed to have. But one of the guys was willing to get on his motorbike and take me to the or orphanage. I mean, things like this you don't see in America. How many times in America when you're lost and you ask somebody, sure, they'll give you directions, but are they gonna go, oh, I'll get in my car and I'll take you there. Maybe if you're in like, Kentucky or something sure that could possibly happen but like for the most part that's not gonna happen I mean you're gonna see lots of friendly people here Xin Chao hello <laughs> just as I demonstrated I mean like in America that ain't happening <laughs> I mean sure some places I don't want to generalize but like some places yeah also like you, you see this old lady like so I, I see it all the time like an old lady trying to cross the street a, a Viet dude will stop his bike, pull it over real quick, get off the bike, and help her go across the street. I mean, amazingly big hearts. Oh, this lady doesn't want to be on camera, so we gotta go the other way. She yelled at me last, <laughs> last video I shot, which is pretty funny. Xin chào, hello. <laughs> See, like, I mean, as, you, as I'm demonstrating now, just by holding a camera, you're seeing the friendliness of Vietnam. And it's a great place to live because of that. I mean, there's no negativity going on. You know, I've repeated a lot of stuff in the past videos, but I don't care. Like, yeah, there's no Karens, there's no Chads, there's no red or blue team. There's, there's just us and let's figure out how to make us be a good team. So yeah, I mean, monster differences between any any other country, you know? A lot of people think like like Koreans can be off-putting in Korea, but that's not true either. Like, you have to be the one to strike up the conversation. And if you do, you're usually gonna have a pretty good conversation. So, I mean, same in, in Japan from my experiences. This is all from my experiences too. I'm not a, a, a freaking expert. I swear these two girls were just here in different outfits and they wouldn't change outfits to shoot more photos. Amazing. But yeah, I mean, that's one thing I really, really love about here is that they're all so nice. Like, they're just so friendly and, you know, I could sit down, I could chat up any one of these girls here if I wanted to. I could just go up to them and go, Xin Chao or hello and, and literally have like a full conversation and they would, it would be no problem. Like. In parts of America right now, if you try to do that, it would literally be... <laughs> it would literally be, like, a crime to do that, like... So... You know, it's... It's... Very friendly here. They're, they're, they're nice. They'll help you out. Um, you know, Wynn's brothers are amazing. They're, they're both, like, two of the nicest dudes I know here, like... One brother, one brother is a badminton coach, and now the other one's a badminton coach, and they make pretty decent money doing that. But like the one that knows English, 
Like, if I don't have the camera on him, we can talk a whole bunch. Xin chào. Got some high schoolers here. Hi. <laughs> Xin chào. Hello. <laughs> See, demonstration right there. I mean, the proof is in the footage. And I'm not even trying. Republican. Are, are you pro Trump? Yes. Trump. Yeah. Trump. Okay. okay. <laughs> They're extremely pro Trump here. Us chicks got her caddies out. Full on them. Xin chào. White mama. Don't see that often. A white baby too, so she must be here with her husband. Probably for some kind of work. But I mean, yeah, it's, you know, you run into this friendliness all the time everywhere here. Um, I can't tell you a time where I've ever even got, the only time I've ever even gotten mildly angry outside of like driving because I still have that stupid California mentality, which I'm slowly getting rid of. Takes some time. But I've never been in an altercation with the Vietnamese. Maybe once or twice. One time, one of my buddy's friends took us to like a karaoke bar that was a Viet dude and they tried to hose us down for a bunch of money and I got pissed because like the only way to get through something like that in Vietnam with the Vietnamese is get loud and angry. Besides that, the only other time I've ever had any kind of altercation here was sitting in Bui Vien and this like, I want to say like an Aussie guy just walks up to me and goes, fuck Trump. And we weren't like, I was with my buddy that was Korean and we weren't talking about American politics at all. And I was just like, okay, dude. <laughs> and he went off. He didn't just say fuck Trump. He just, he went on like a whole two minute spiel. And I was like, okay, dude, sure. Whatever. <laughs> and even that like wasn't an altercation because I didn't placate into it. I was just like, whatever, this guy's retarded. It's like dealing with like, a homeless on Venice Beach that's yabbering off at you. So, overall, it's just super friendly, super nice, uh, good vibes here. Uh, everyone smiles at you, you know, everyone's pretty much happy for the most part here. There's there's not much serious talk, it's, it's all usually fun talk, like, there's no taboo talk. Uh, I mean, it's just overall, a really good vibe here, good energy, positive vibes. Um, I can give you more examples, like places me and Wynn have gone and stayed, like in Hansan Island, like the lady that ran it and that rented us our motorbike was super awesome. Like the motorbike broke down, she came and bought us a new motorbike in like 10 minutes and then sat with the old fucked up motorbike for who knows how long and just let us go do our thing. So like, yeah, you, you, you run into some, like, I get some, like, stares sometimes. And to break up a stare, I just go, Sin chow. And, and I, I, I'm not saying chow right. I'm now aware that chow is low. Chow. Chow. Sin chow. I think I'm saying it right now. Chow. Down. You got to go down with it. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, it's super fabulous times here. Like, everyone's super nice. circle around here since we got to go back. But yeah, I, I couldn't recommend it enough as far as like having nice people surrounding you with, with nice smiles and good attitudes and, you know, being happy. And I, I never find myself ever depressed here or ever like unhappy. Each day is a new day that's usually full of good things. It's you can make what you want to make out of it here and you can do it cheaply and you can make friends here and you can meet women here easily. It's like literally just a matter of just walking up and going hello, where that's like now become a crime in some parts of America. So, you know, some guy commented like, oh, you can meet a chick anywhere in the world if you're good looking and got game. Dude, yeah, try living in LA. You gotta be good looking, got game, drive a Mercedes, and have the newest Apple phone, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I wouldn't consider that necessarily uh, 
easy at all. I mean, there's other parts of the, the world like that too, but but here, I mean, they're in the fashion here and shit, but it's not so much like that. So yeah, I thought I would shoot a video on how awesome Vietnamese people are because they are. I, I feel welcomed here anywhere I go. What are these, flight attendants? These look like flight attendants. Where, where are we flying to? I mean, is that not flight attendant outfit? She's taking some kind of videography. They look like flight attendants. I mean, they're probably office girls, but whatever office, they, oh, they're taking a group photo. Mo Kai Ba, yo. All right, guys, so we covered it. Vietnam's one of the happiest places with the happiest people and one of the best lifestyles to live on a very affordable way. Uh, some other guy tried coming at me like <laughs> about, <laughs> it's expensive to live here. <laughs> you can live in Saigon dirt cheap. You can get an apartment for like 200, 200, 300 bucks, even 150 bucks in like Quan 8. And yeah, I mean, it is where you wanna live and what you can put up with. So as ever, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'm trying to bring you good content daily. I'll continue to do that. So we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.